This partnership between our community listens and Big Brothers Big Sisters started almost two years ago in a coffee shop when the CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters and I sat down and were talking about what this training could mean for her team and the things that they hoped it would do in their organization. And about six months in, we started realizing there's a lot of power and opportunity to take this through the organization with now very skilled practitioners of the content out to the bigs and out to the littles. And this ripple effect and this dream kind of grew to say, what would it look like if we actually could now equip your bigs? And the site coordinators can reinforce it for them. Today we actually got to implement this training that we've been developing for a year and a half and actually get it in front of our high school bigs. I think you guys can relate to all these conversations built with the leader. These skills that are the tenets of our community listens, as well as infusing the, the science of positive psychology and developmental assets, are foundational. And we know that these are going to be transformational for the kids that we serve. I think another thing that today was a kind of symbol of was a lot of hope. Um, and hopefully a lot of empowerment. I feel like the new curriculum with uh, putting a lot of emphasis on empathy and putting a lot of emphasis on listening, that will help a lot because I've been told I'm pretty empathetic by most people I talk to who need somebody to listen, but it's still giving me a nice like, hey, I've never tried this before sort of moment, which means that I can learn more about trying to listen well and give a lot of empathy towards my little, who sometimes does need somebody to sit there and listen because sometimes he does have a bad day and he needs somebody to sit there and be able to understand what he's going through. During the empathy section, I realized how easy it is to actually judge somebody if they're acting out. Like a kid throwing a pencil, you may not know it, maybe his grandma just got cancer. Or let's say a kid who just got a B when they normally get an A. They might be struggling with depression, they may not want to be here, they may have nobody to talk to. It's so easy to just judge somebody not knowing what they're really going through. I knew what empathy was before I started this training, but having more examples of it and talking about it in a group setting, you know, taking it seriously instead of just saying, be empathetic towards your little. Like, diving into the subject is really what this training has been about, and that makes me feel a lot more secure in my ability to um, implement it, I guess, with my relationship with my little. I haven't been listened to a lot of the time, so like I know how it feels to not be listened to. So like if I could be someone who listens to them, I think it'll help, and I just I think it'll make me feel like I'm making a bigger difference. With this new training, I feel that I'm a lot more prepared to deal with my little struggles and my own, and I feel like the program will have a lot more structure to it, and we'll learn a lot more about each other. Even just like the effective listening too is good because the little, I haven't even met her yet, but I know that there's going to be lots of things that she's going to want to tell me and talk to me about. And I need to be able to be there and listen to her and hear what she's saying without her feeling like I'm just there because I have to be. I think it would help people more in life to know and to get to know people. Like a lot of people are self-centered and I've seen a lot of mentors be self-centered and then they do the program and they're like, oh, this is a huge deal. Like you actually need to know this person and like get to know them and have them feel loved with a lot of people don't realize that's what the program's about. They think, oh, I'm just sitting there helping kids with schoolwork and we know this really helps them. This makes them feel loved. This makes them feel cared about and actually feel wanted. And some people don't get that in life. Today was, um, Oh, it's going to actually make me a little bit emotional. Today was um, incredible on many levels. I think partly the fact that it has been a two years in the making kind of a, of a dream. Um, seeing how many people have come together to collaborate in the hearts that they have. Um, at the end of the day, if we can impact those kids at those ages, there's so many things that we could shift in our communities and in, and in them and their families. Um, one of the things I heard that I wasn't really thinking about before was reflective listening and coming back to the whole idea that every day should be a learning experience with your little. So I've used a lot of that and when there's a problem that comes up, I've 
done more listening than telling like what's wrong and like kind of going at it at my point of view. I've tried to be more understanding and hear it from her point of view, so that's really helped me. The training this past year has been very beneficial. Yeah, I actually have brought it in. Like, I feel like this training, I learned like a lot more about like practical life skills and like last training, and like, I actually use it in like outside of Big Brother Big Sister too. Because like whenever I'm confronted with like a conflict, I remember like different skills he taught us about like reflective listening, like especially when people come to me for advice, like not just being quick to give advice, but like like listening first and um, letting them know that I care. And so that's been like the biggest thing I'd say. Yeah, like I think like the listening skills and like the empathy training especially was a little bit more helpful because I'm able to like relate with her like a little bit more on like some of the problems that she's having even if I've like never been through those situations and like that kind of thing. Being empathetic has gotten me so close to them and it's such a great feeling. It has changed the way I've communicated with my little. Yeah, so kind of going back to the reflective listening, I try to really um, listen in. She definitely shares with me the highlights and then sometimes I'll pick up on um, maybe an area where she's like struggling or maybe kind of get something out of her with that like oh you she was having some trouble um, getting along with some students and it was like okay just picked up on one small word and that reflective listening kind of just like reverted me back to okay well when does this happen or like who is this happening with and then she kind of opened up more about it so I almost feel as if I didn't you know use those reflective listening skills and just listening in general I could have easily you know overpassed it or not heard it and stuff and I kind of think she does the same I um, definitely see her listening to everything I say and then the next week she'll you know ask me like I told her one day that I was nervous about a test and she was like well how did you do on that and it's really cute because I'm like oh my gosh you remembered and so that makes me very happy I think when you start a project like this, you have hopes of what the outcomes will be. But sitting down with the dashboard was kind of like the moment of truth, right? To see what actually did we accomplish. And to see that 97% of the young adults participating in this program got to a point where they were using empathy, if not daily, regularly throughout the week, that was really moving. And I think the other thing that really was powerful was to look at the conflict situation. And so many people struggle with that. And over half of the group said that now when they're in a conflict situation, they can actually stop, evaluate the moves that they have in front of them, and make a good decision about that. And so for me, I think that that's success right there. Here we are at the end of year one with our community listens and the big brother, big sister relationship. How have we done? I think we've done great. I think we went into this wondering, you know, what we could do to get the skills from our community listens into the hands of our high school kids and hopefully by them modeling the skills into the hands of the elementary school kids. I think we've had a lot of great successes around the topics of empathy and reflective listening. Um, it's been great in the programs to see the high school students being so intentional about you know, their communication with their littles, spending more time listening. I know a lot of them, it was always, they would come into the program and ask a lot of questions, and it would be like 20 questions to their littles. And sometimes the littles would kind of shut down or be like, Why, you know, stop asking me so many questions. And I think for them, high schoolers, it's kind of empowered them to know that silence is okay. And it's okay if you're just sitting there doing an activity together, you know, giving them the opportunity, the grace and space to decide what they want to talk about and direct the conversation sometimes. So um, I, think, I think we've had a lot of big wins this year. Uh, I know as I was going through all the data and I, I love to see the narrative around it, the things that like really stood out to me was this has helped me way more than I ever expected in different relationships than I had expected. So uh, one person spoke to that they were a server and it's helping them do their jobs better. So it's giving them better employability skills. So it goes deeper than we had ever really even anticipated. Right, yeah, it's it's like we, I feel like Holly and Leanne had this awesome vision of like, let's get these skills to, this, to the high school students, but I think, I don't know, maybe we underestimated the depth of how far those skills could spread and of impacting the life of the high school and, and even the college students that help mentor for us. Well, thank you so much, Angel, for speaking with me today. I'm just so grateful for this relationship and what we've done over the last nine months. Uh, what are the next steps going forward? 
So we're already working on booking dates for September to do the training again with the high school mentors. And then I have uh, dates booked in October for us to do our first adult mentor for the community-based program training to give them the full content of our community lessons. So uh, I think we're just gonna make a few tweaks and we're ready to implement this again in the fall.